Hi there, my name is Nick and today I'm going to take you through a short tutorial on how to do some basic sound designing using one of the samplers within Reason 3. So let's just uh, start off by creating ourselves a uh, advanced sampler, the NNXT. And at this stage we don't need to actually uh, see what's going on in the mixer desk. So let's just close that down and give us some more room to see um, our sampler. And let's open up the remote editor of the NNXT and you'll see a blue screen here. It's into this screen um, that we're going to actually uh, load our samples or see the samples that we've loaded into the sampler. And what I'm going to do is going to go for some of the samples that you'll find in the NN19 uh, patch bank of the Reason Factory Sound Bank. And we're specifically looking at the uh, synth raw elements. So if we open up that file now, you will see here that we have various subfolders containing samples from classic 70s synthesizers, some of which you may know, the Mini Moog, for example, the Yamaha CS80, and the ARP Odyssey. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go for some sounds from the ARP Odyssey itself. So let's just start off with a basic saw wave from the Odyssey and load that into our sampler. And what we're going to do is layer up a couple of um, of samples from uh, the factory sound bank. So what we need to do at this stage is just to click below the uh, original sample so that it's no longer highlighted so that we can add another sample beneath it. Okay, so there we have it, two samples.